for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Good job, baby. <laughs> uh, so today, what we'll be doing is what we call Philip's Foodie, which is where we review a restaurant that we haven't been to before. So we can choose our first time or two. So, you know, the first one we did was last month with Soiree Coffee Bar, which was nice. Um, and this month, since it's my birthday month, we did three restaurants. And just keep in mind, when we're giving our review, this is our opinion. So, we're not telling you whether or not to go somewhere. We're just giving you our take on it. So, you can take that or leave it. But it's just our opinion. So make sure you understand that. I just want to kind of disclose that little thing. Disclaimer. It's your decision. Absolutely. Um, and so we decided to do it different this time where you get to watch us paint. Morning. Um, so we did three restaurants this month. We did. She doesn't, you know, we don't do a combined, you know, birthday, Valentine's Day. And this is not something that she said, hey, you have to do it like this. But I just feel like, you know, I have my birthday. I get to celebrate my birthday separately. It's Valentine's Day for me as well. I get to do it separately. Christmas, I get to do it separately. So why should she be any different just because her birthday happens to be a couple of days before, you know, Valentine's Day. 
So uh, one of the things that she wanted to do going into this new year was to try a different restaurant every month um, this year. So, you know, of course it's her birthday month, so I wanted to make it extra special. So the plan was that it would be two restaurants, which was gonna be Pangea and Sugar Factory. And of course we just decided today um, that we go ahead and do the Bell Sweet Factory um, on today. So she got three. But um, Pangea, uh, you know, getting everything set up from start to finish. Of course, I had, you know, help, thank God, for family and friends. It was a nice time, nice opportunity and everything, you know, as far as that's concerned. So the planning of it, you know, was a little difficult just trying to make sure things were going to go right. It was Valentine's Day weekend, so it was hard to kind of get a reservation at certain spots. But... Again, I have a good team of people, so we made it happen. And Friday, February 11th, I surprised her when we go to Pangea. And again, like she said, she was su surprised and confused because I had told her it was just gonna be a date night for us and she was expecting, you know, something for her birthday, you know, with other people the, you know, the very next day. But my plan was for Friday night and just, and that's just because how the reservation was able to go. So we got that all set up, squared away. She was happy to be at Pangea. Things seemed to be going well. And then on that. So I'll do my part of the review. So Pangea is a black owned restaurant, which is one of the you know things that we want to try to make sure that we're doing you know, is supporting black owned businesses. So, you know, we go in, the waiter, his name was Jamie, he was awesome. He was awesome. But the experience, not so much. The food, not so much. Very disappointing uh, from the food standpoint. Very disappointing from the uh, customer service that was received once there were some you know things that didn't go as they were supposed to uh, how the general manager um, conducted himself uh, as far as I guess his version of it um, assisting us uh, it was my wife's birthday event she didn't eat uh, and my food never came out, therefore I never ate. Uh, food was cold. <gasps> it was just mediocre. And so that was very disappointing. Um, and again, this was our experience. Mm -hmm. I'm not speaking for somebody else's experience, but this was just simply our experience. And something that what, you know, what we're wanting to share with our audience. Yeah. Now, with me saying that, before I let my wife, you know, give her a review of it, with me saying that, we will go to Pangea again, because my wife does want to experience the brunch. But I do not feel that, from my experience and the large party that we had, and some other things that I've heard, I do not feel that they are equipped to handle large parties. The uh, birthday menu that was special for her had Happy Birthday Joy instead of Jessica, even though it was discussed that it was her birthday. There were, I, we had to pick a certain number of items for that specialty menu. Some of those items were not available. Things on the menu were spelled incorrectly. For the amount that was required of us, I don't feel they met that. You know, you know, we met our requirement, but they, the ball was dropped. And so, but you know, we will give a second chance. But uh, and uh, information, the uh, email and everything has been sent to Pangea expressing how we felt. But 
That's cool. Like the so, really awesome. hey, it was a good birthday, so your thoughts. So, I'll say that Nolan did not get to eat. And I was looking forward to it because I love family.
we share that so you can see it. The factory! It's a sugar factory! That was a really good experience. Awesome waitress. Uh, food was great. Drinks were great. So I really don't have any complaints. Yeah, I agree with that. I really don't have any, any complaints. Yeah. Uh -huh. I would definitely want to go back at a less busier time. But it was a nice, that was a nice experience. So, Betty, how did you feel? It was. Yes, <laughs> I enjoyed it. And I know it's sugar factories in different um, states and cities and stuff. I know it's one of Las Vegas. Lord, and we go to Las Vegas at least every year. But surprisingly, we have never gone to the sugar factory out there. I don't, I don't know why. Um, so, when I realized that it was one out here, and I was like, oh, I want to go. So, I was excited and then wanting to go and just to realize and see that that's where we were going. Sugar factory! I'm like a kid. Don't judge me too much. <laughs> um, but yeah, food was excellent. Food was good. It was on point for me. Drinks were nice as well. Uh, one of the ones I got, Lord forgive me, I don't remember the name. But it was um, inspired by Snoop Dogg. And um, it was good. Did I finish it? No. Believe it or not. Some of my friends. She finished most of it. Not too much. <laughs> no, nah, but some of my friends, if they're watching this, they probably won't believe it. But I didn't. I didn't. I did not finish most of it. Um, <clears throat> well, it was good vibes and everything. Somebody else who was celebrating their birthday, they bought me a shot. Took shots. Um, yeah, it was an overall good experience. It was nice. I enjoyed it. And I will go back. We'll, we'll go back. Yeah, sure. definitely. Um, overall, for the Sugar Factory. Another. And keep in mind too, when we give these reviews, it's not just the food, it's the whole experience. And I feel like that's how it should be. Yeah, the food comes into play as well, but the experience also. Because oftentimes what people have to realize, when people are complaining about the price of food and this or that, well, what you have to factor in and what I always factor in is that when you are paying these prices at these places oftentimes it's about the ambiance it's about the experience that you're having at the place it's, it's the you know it's the whole vibe so you're not just paying you know if you go in and you pay 20 25 dollars for a burger and fries yeah what's some what's 25 dollars burger? you can make that at home right true i'm sure all of us could make a lot of these things in our own home but you're paying for somebody's time to prepare it for you somebody's time to uh bring it out to you you know and the experience of everything that you're getting that comes with that. So you're not just paying twenty five dollars for a burger and fries. Mm -hmm. It's much more that comes with that. Mm -hmm. And so that's one of the things that we consider. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's something that we should consider. So that's why we say a nine for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah, and we'll do that for sure as well. Yeah, we'll beautiful. Now let's talk about the bell. Where's the color picture? It's not bad. I just feel like I got a lot of colors going on that don't make sense. Okay, so let's talk about the bell. Let's talk about the bell. 
the bells, sweet. Okay. We went today. Sunday, Sunday. For brunch. Um, it's in, located in Plano. Again, this location was at the top of my list of restaurants I wanted us to try. Um, and I was excited that we were able to get in there um, and give it a shot. So, I like the fact that we were, of course, greeted when we came in. Um, everything was explained to us how it works, um, which is, you know, we place our order uh, digitally, you know, with the, the yeah, the QR code. The QR code. We put in our order and um, pay. Or it goes back and they make it for us. I don't have a problem with that. You know, because we do it anyway for McDonald's, Whataburger. You know, all those places like that, it's the same thing for the most part. And if there's an issue with your order from any of those places, what do you do? You take it back. If you're in the drive thru, you drive around after you done checked your order, if you done started to drive off. Go back, you either go back to the drop through or go ahead and go in. Hey, I just ordered this, this ain't right, whatever, woo, 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 and it's fixed. Um, and I say that because I did see a review or two about somebody not liking the fact that it was done like that. If you have a problem with it, your food coming out after you done paid is not right, just tell the people. I don't see what the problem is with that. And that's what we were told as well, you know? If there's anything, an uh, issue or anything, to please let them know. And we were set by one of the owners. I thought that was really cool too. Um, yes, and Ashley's very sweet. Ashley. And that's who actually explained you know, the process and how everything works. The atmosphere was nice to me. I appreciate it. I see what it is that they're going for. I liked it. I liked the music. Um, I had the fried lobster and waffles. Go ahead. The shrimp and grits. Let me tell you. <laughs> That's pretty good? Yeah, it's excellent. Oh, she said excellent, child. Now, I'm Texas, you know, Texas girl, and I'm one of the Texas girls, and you know, I like butter, my grits butter, sugar. I'm not a savory grit eater. And, but shrimp and grits has been something that I've heard about so often. You should try it, you should try it, you should try it. And so when we were in, in Atlanta once, there was a restaurant we went to and I actually tried it and it was delicious. But since then, I've not been able to find any other places that I was willing to try shrimp and grits. So this was a very, very, very good experience of shrimp and grits. And of course, uh, the owner, Ashley, came out and, you know, just checking on the scene, how things were, how we liked everything. I just happened to ask who made the grits. And of course she said she did. I'm pretty sure when I asked her, she thought, you know, it was something wrong. But the grits were, and I'll use the words of my nephew, bussin' bussin'. The grits were fire. They were excellent. And the whole combination of the shrimp and grits together with, I don't know what the, um, sauce that they put on there, the cream sauce they put on there, but all of it together was fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I will be enjoying the rest of that later <laughs> today. But yes. So, you know, and others who eat shrimp and grits often may say, oh, you know, I've had better. Well, it's not my thing. Mm -hmm. This is in the, in the two shrimp and grits that I've had in my whole life. This is number one. So, okay, way to go on the shrimp and grits. Lobster was fried, nice and moist. It was. That was my wife's food, so I let her. Yeah. But I did taste it, but it was also. Yeah, she tasted it. I also tasted it. it was good. The grits. I don't eat grits. 
don't know, food, whatever. Grits at all. Yeah, I don't eat it at all. <laughs> uh, I, I just can't. But I try Joy's grits. Yeah, if, when, when we go back, I'll probably go ahead and order my own. That's how good they were. For somebody who don't eat grits that actually want to eat some the next time we go. Because we're coming back. We're going back. Um, but yeah, I got the fried lobster and waffles. Um, it was a little mix up with my order. Um, and I mentioned that to say that even though there was a mix up, I addressed it and it was fixed like that. No problems, no issues, no, no nothing. And it was handled smoothly and quickly. Um, that's why I'm just like, if y'all have a problem, if you have a problem at any restaurant, just address it. And the food was hot. Yeah, oh yeah, nice and not warm, and fresh. not warm. Yeah, it was, but hot. And we had complimentary mimosas. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I ate most of mine. I'm not gonna lie, I ain't bring nothing home. <laughs> Can't be greedy if you want to. Uh, but yeah, so I enjoyed that. Like I said, the atmosphere, um, the friendliness. Again, our experience. The music, the vibe. I enjoyed it. I'll be back. Um, and I wish them much more success because they're they doing it. They, do, they are doing it. And we want to go back and try dinner. Right? You said dinner, right? Yes. We want to go back because and try Because they do have some things on the dinner menu that I definitely want to try. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. But, um, so yeah, we enjoyed that. So, with the Bell Sweet Factory. A 10. A 10. Ashley, Ashley and Thaddeus, or I'm not sure if he goes by Thad, but Ashley and Thaddeus, uh, the owners of the Bell Sweet Factory, a 10 out of 10. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Customer service, atmosphere is nice, food is great. Everything is, is explained well. So if you go there and and you leave with a bad experience, if you go to that place and you leave with a bad experience, it is your choice to leave there with a bad experience. I, I, because... What she said? Okay, I didn't tune out when she said it. <laughs> That's what she said. But no, but it's true though. It's, it's all true. So, yeah, we gave, no, it's just a 10. It's a 10, and I kind of do wish that I did. Like, <laughs> yeah, because you can't have no run. Oh, you gonna share? Huh. Yeah, I'm probably gonna share. Exactly. So, that's our three in one, Hills Foodies restaurant review. Oh, it's the Black History Month. Yes, yes, yes. So, I would just say, Get to all of the restaurants. Mm -hmm. Pangea, Sugar Factory, mm -hmm. the Bell Sweet Factory. Get to all the restaurants, visit them, uh, support them, but get there, try the food, get out and have these experiences. You know, don't just take anybody's word for it because I guarantee you, our experience may not be your experience. That's true. But you know, this is something that we wanted to do, so we're just sharing with you our experience. It does not have to be your experience. So get out and see it, enjoy it for yourself, and you know, comment and let us know what you thought about exactly. the restaurants. Get out, experience yourself, because if you want to be somebody and you want to go somewhere, you gotta wake up and pay attention. It's always that one person. I was just being silly having a, my own little moment. It's always that one person to think, 
They continue and says they got to be extra. It's a Philip thing. She can't have her own woman. <laughs> but again, thank y'all for tuning in. We finishing these things here. I'm almost finished. Well, she almost finished too. Oh, she is finished. Well, man. Okay. Don't, um, don't I, we're gonna, I'm gonna finish mine up and then I'll show y'all what it looks like at the end. Oh, I can't do that. Can y'all do that? Oh, 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 I did it, girl. Sorry. Um. So yeah, a Phillips thing, three in one restaurant review. Phillips foodie. Um. Uh, next month, I don't know. Maybe we'll do more than one next month as well too. I don't know. We got a couple things going on, so we're gonna see how it goes. Make sure again, like she said. Like, comment, subscribe so you know when we post any more videos. Because we don't just do um, restaurant reviews. We have other things going on. The last video we did was a day in the life of the Phillips, which was a busy day. <laughs> I tell you. What was that? Three birthday gathering thing? Yes. It was a busy one. So y'all check that out. Check out all of our videos. Um, also, make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram as well. And that way you can see some of our stories that we post and everything like that. But, yeah, and if you sit down home and you're like, I want to do that with my spouse or my best friend or my sister or whoever, Ooh. then do it. It's just fun. This is really just fun for us where this goes, where it's going to take us. We don't know. But we just thought it would be a neat, fun experience, something to do. So we just stepped out and did it. Yeah, so. I would just say, whatever your dream is, whatever it is you want to do in life, do it. And don't let nobody stop you. Mm. Do it. She said that. She, mm. On Sunday. And you know why? Because as Tabitha Brown said, that's your business. And she is our son Aquarius, y'all. I just want to put that out there. But yes, okay, so now we, we rambling. But thank y'all again. <laughs> I'll post these pictures. It seems like it's taking me longer than it is my wife. I'll, we'll show y'all what the end uh, result looks like. Bye. See y'all. I like the one I say bye. That's rude. Now you remember that one night when we fell in love when we had it felt so right cause we had trust now it's drowning in the light but we're broken up you know the feelings deep inside so what